Good afternoon. Here is the Africa Business News. The Economic and Organized Crime Office, EOCO, says it is still in process of tracking more assets and accounts owned by Council of State member and founder of defunct ideal finance, Ni Kote Zani. EOCO has already frozen some 31 accounts and some landed property of Ni Kote and Zani as part of efforts to, among other things, retrieve funds from him to settle customers whose funds are locked up with the defunct company. EOCO, upon a referral from the receiver of Ideal Finance, invited Nico Zani for questioning on three allegations, including 23 million Ghana CDs paid to a client, 200 acres of land he allegedly stole from Ideal Finance, and unlawful use of Ideal Finance funds to build Camp Ntsese, a plush resort in Ada. Ideal Finance is among the 23 savings and loans and finance houses that lost their licenses after they were declared insolvent by the Bank of Ghana as part of a massive financial sector cleanup. According to the executive director of EOCO, COP retired Frank Adu Poku, who spoke to newsman Omar Sanda Amadu, the assets confiscated so far include vehicles and about 31 bank accounts belonging to him and the Ideal Group. He, however, says they will be pursuing more assets and accounts they may not be aware of. And that's the news. To join us at 3 for Strictly Business News. Thank you for listening.